so Gary, why why are we getting uh, it's an exciting team and they the enthusiasm they showed from the beginning was was key for me. Milos was, was fantastic and the board backed him and that we made it happen and for me it was two great teams that came in for me, Domi Breda because a fantastic team and I respect the coach. He was great when I met them but it was just it came down to I had to pick one or the other and for me it was if you can go they need a push, do you know what I mean? And for me, I want to help. I want to help the club and I want to try and push in the right direction. Do you know what I mean? I'm only 25 when I'm saying this, but it's 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 good, do you know what I mean? It's a good challenge and it's it's different for me uh, being the title race. When I was at I, I think I changed them as a club when I when I came to Iceland, so maybe it's the same challenge where, you, you know, obviously, you know you're not going to win every single game, like a KI, and if you lose a game of KI, it's, it's unexpected, do you know what I mean? So when you lose a game, people are down and... Then you're checking the title race and stuff. I wanted a, maybe a little bit of a release from that, and just I want to help players. I want to help a club that wants to go in the right direction. And, and Viking was a great choice for that. You say you're 25, uh, maybe getting into your best years in the career. Do, do you feel like you're taking a step down from the biggest club in Iceland to go to Viking? Uh, no, I don't actually. I don't. I don't. I don't see it like that. For me, there's a certain amount of teams that are all the same. It's it's football at the end of the day. It's, if you're not happy at the biggest team, why be there? Do you know what I mean? At the end of the day, you have to be happy when you're playing football and you play your best football when you're happy. I was happy 2013, 2014, and I was top goal scorer two seasons in a row. Who's to say I can't do that here? If, if you're happy and you're happy off the pitch and you're on the pitch, anything can happen in football. There's a lot of players who have left Iceland to do ridiculous things. So for me, it's it's not a question of a step down. I think it's it's a question of asking myself, how good are you? Do you know what I mean? Now, can you can you help this club like you helped Akronez? You've you've won the titles, so now it's, maybe it's just just me. I, I wanted something different. I needed a new challenge. Talk about happiness. Did you feel like you needed a, a new challenge away from Calder? Of course. I, as soon as they accepted the bids, I knew I had to I had to leave. Uh, the, they wouldn't force me out. I, would, I could have stayed. I could have went to Orlando tomorrow, but I'm not going to do what I did last year where I was miserable and I was really bad last summer and I took out my girlfriend and she wasn't really happy. Do you know what I mean? She had to keep me up every day and say it's going to be okay. So for me it was it was a sign when they accepted and to get out is it's, it's a good opportunity to come and play. And I need to play, do you know what I mean? I, I know people, I'm, I'm rated quite highly in Iceland. I've seen that by the interest from the clubs that came in. So I need to just, just get back to playing well and scoring goals and get fit and, and see what happens. You were allowed to talk to Breda Big and Viking, but there were more clubs interest, interested. Were you disappointed with Kawa not to let you talk to all of them? Uh, that's their decision, do you know what I mean? They, I know they've done it with other players, I'm not going to mention who, but that's football, do you know what I mean? Obviously, at first they didn't want me to go to a competitor, I was told that from the off. So I was only allowed to speak to Viking, and I, I thought, well, if, if I'm only allowed to speak to one team, there's, there's no one else that really wants like. I'm allowed to talk to, so I have to just wait. And then I waited a week, and then they accepted other offers. So that that was a massive signal. And so I spoke to Breda and I spoke to Vikinga, and for me, it was one of the hardest decisions I've made in football. Uh, it, it was harder than taking the chance to move here. Do you know what I mean? It was it was that hard, and I chose Vikinga just just on the basic of like, I want to help a team. I don't think Breda they're a fantastic team. They finished above Cowell last season. Do you know what I mean? So for a team that, that finished above Kawa, it, that wants me, it says everything. And I respect them as a club and what they've done as a club and the kids they've brought through. And I spoke to Atley a lot. It's a fantastic club, but I want to I want to try and help a team and some talented players here. And maybe I can I can help them. What happened over the last few months? Because after last season, it was said that you would be staying at Kawa and everything was fine. Yeah, I know. I I thought I was staying, but then I heard that I'd been offered to Viking or Reykjavik on. On a, on a Tuesday night, so uh, and then I found out it wasn't true. But then I found out it actually was true. So that that made me realise, okay, maybe you're not wanted. So we can go as soon as they got that interest, they just pushed it right through. And for for a team like we can go to go after the, a player from Coward, it shows good intent in my opinion. Do you know what I mean? Some players they would never maybe take the move that I'm doing because ego or whatever else they want to be. They maybe they want to stay at KR and and just be at the top teams and. But they might never really play. Do you know what I mean? So uh, that for me, that's not an option. I want to do football's a short career, so you want to play as much as you can and do whatever you can and be happy in what you do. And that's the reason I think I left in the end because they were accepting offers. And even though I wasn't, like I say, I wasn't forced out. I think it was time to move on because I wasn't happy.
There has been also a lot of talk about your relationship with Bjarni. How, how can you describe it now that you have gone? Last summer it was intense. Don't get me wrong, last summer was it wasn't great, but <laughs> it was fine. You know, I actually, was it was fine this this year and after last season we we sorted everything out and I don't know what's happened. Maybe they just thought, okay, maybe we we'll need we need to sell somebody or I don't know. Me and Bjarni, we were fine, and I wish him all the best. You know what I mean? He's, it's a hard job for me, has her, but I wish him all the best in what he does. But I, our relationship this year was fine. Last year it was intense and it wasn't great. But like I said, Bernie doesn't accept offers. Maybe he has a say in it, but the board accepted, so I thought it was time for me to go. And of course, after last season, you must be hungry to get on the pitch and score some goals and, and make the dream happen. Maybe about playing in a bigger league. Yeah, of course. You know, I mean, this, you're all on the same. You're all, you're all the same. You're all human beings. You're all two hands, two legs. You know what I mean? So. I'm happy to get back on the pitch and for me it's no difference whether you play for Viking or any team in the league you've seen. For me, Patrick, he won it last year and, and Valor finished fifth. I think you've seen Vidaran when he, he won it, he played for Vilki. You don't have to be the biggest team to score goals. And I, I think it's harder to score goals than the bigger teams in my opinion. I think it's very rarely a guy who wins a golden boot who's in the top team. I think Jonathan Glenn, he'd be off. When they nearly relegated, he nearly won it. So it's, you don't have to be in the top team to score goals. And for me, I'll only score goals when I'm happy. I'm not going to score goals when I'm sad and I'm miserable and angry. So, first of all, it was about getting happy, and then now it's about getting getting to know my teammates and, and starting to score goals.